Hey, welcome to my latest YouTube video. What I'm going to do here is explain to you a little project that I have going on for my new uh, Precision Matthews PM25 NV milling machine. And hopefully, maybe I'll get some, some feedback or suggestions from someone that will help me do this project, maybe improve it, uh, open for any any kind of feedback that I can get. So what I, my goal here is to increase the, the spindle RPM. So this is the stock configuration here. And this setup gives you, I believe, 2200 RPM. And what you have is the this nice brushless uh, DC motor and these two-step pulleys. I think these are micro, I think they're called micro V pulleys. But this is the stock setup. The, the top pulleys look like they run uh, direct one-to-one -one ratio, and the bottom pulleys, I think it's uh, it reduces it by one half. So this is nice. It's good. The controller is nice, but I need it to go a little bit faster. I usually wind up machining aluminum. I like to be able to go at least 3,000 RPM. Anything faster than that is, is just is better. So I'm going to try to double the RPM. So what my plan is here is to put an idler on here. And let me let me just swap this around and I'll show you what I'm intend on doing. So this is what I intend to do. I'm going to continue to use the stock pulleys down here. I'm going to add this idler shaft, and then I'm going to do a uh, two to one ratio up here on the top. So this is a 40 tooth. I think these are called HTD5M pulleys. So this is a 40 tooth HTD5M. This is a 20 tooth HTD5M. So I'm going to get a two to one increase on the top, then just drive it through the stock pulleys down here. I'm going to continue to use the stock driver. And that is that is my intention. Hopefully this will work well. I've done something similar to this on my Grizzly milling machine, but it, it was basically just swapping out gears for pulleys. This project is adding, adding an idler and it's a little bit more complicated, but I think it's going to work. So I'll just rotate this around here a little bit, let you see what it looks like. So I will continue to still have the same mechanism down here to uh, change the pulleys on the, or change the speeds on the stock pulleys. And then I'll have the same sort of little slider mechanism up here to, um, well, I guess adjust the belt tension on the top. I won't really be able to take the belt off without undoing this plate, but same little slider to adjust the belt tension on the top. As far as the bearings, if I do the uh, section, you can see here's the, the section view. So what we have here, zoom in. I have two, they are called 6001-2Z bearings. I have one on the bottom, one on the top. I have a spacer in the middle. There's a shoulder here to, to hold the one on the bottom. There's a uh, snap ring here to you know retain the one on the top. Um, I originally had these, these bearings just back to back. So it would have put the uh, the ball bearings from the center of that ball to the center of that ball would have only been eight millimeters. So after I got done and I was sort of looking at it, I thought, eh, you know, they're pretty close to each other. I better spread them out a little bit. So I increased the thickness of this aluminum chunk, made this 10 millimeter spacer to throw in between. So now we have a little more, a little bit more distance between those and if I, well, let's just see. I think um, they're 18 millimeters apart now. Yeah, they'll be 18 millimeters apart. So I feel like that's more stable. 
anyone have any thoughts on that? I'd really, I'd really like to hear them. I believe this is going to work well, but if anybody out there has built anything like this, I would really appreciate anything you have to say. The rest of the project, uh, this is just 12 millimeter, uh, kind of like precision shaft. It has a keyway in it, but it's like pre precision shaft stock that comes from McMaster Car. Uh, I'm going to put grooves in it, put two little snap rings to hold it in place. I don't really need the keyway for what I'm doing, but that, that stock is a little bit softer, and I figured that it's softer, easier to machine. It has a tighter tolerance on the OD, and I figured that that keyway, although I'm not using keys, it would be a good place to lock down the the uh, set screws and these these pulleys. So, so that's my plan with that. Um, other than that, it, you know, it's pretty basic stuff. These these HTD pulleys came from eBay. You can buy those along with the belt. People that sell them give you the spacing. Pretty straightforward stuff. So that's the plan. Hopefully it's going to work. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And as I work on this, I'll post more videos. And also, I, I intend to completely model this machine in Fusion 360, so eventually I'll have the whole machine in there, and that model will, will help with the CNC conversion. Okay, thanks a lot. Appreciate you watching this, and uh, I, I hope to hear from a few of you. Maybe you can offer me some thoughts that will help make this even better. Thanks for watching, and be safe.